you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a match. Just so wise. Bruce Lee enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC champion. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, back at the O2 Arena here in London, England, and man, are you royalty around these parts. Oh, I mean, you can barely on. make your way to uh, the John, tonight, John, Jim. oh, stop, John, oh, stop, John, <laughs> please stop. I'm going to go Okay, maybe in England, they might look uh, more decent. Oh, nice punishing kick to the body. <laughs> Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Beautiful kick lands there. Let's get behind that jet now. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. And now some separation. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Hit with a kick. Oh, nice. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Set up to the leg kick. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Three minutes to go here, round one. Lee gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. Just misses there with the left. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single call time. Swing and a miss by Lee. He's looking to set up that leg oh, nice kick. inside leg kick, yeah. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. Got to the clinch, control the posture, and land some big knees from in close. Just over two minutes to go. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Game of inches right there, bro. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Beautiful body kick. Nice block. More impressive with your strike kick. Oh, and a head kick there. Lands a nice straight. 
Under a minute to go. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. And doing work with the jab. That takedown was kind of beautiful. He passes the half. All right, side control now. The young belly. And he's back up. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. 15 seconds to go. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent start to slow down, cannot take many of those kicks. Right. Round two straight ahead. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round. A lot of high-level leg kicking going on there, champ. And he did a great job of hiding them. He wasn't giving any sign that he was going to throw those leg kicks. That's why you didn't see his opponent check any of the kicks, and it won't take many more for him to really damage the mobility of the other combatant. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Looked like that body kick got home. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Nice shot there by the champ. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Straight punch. Useful. He blocked that punch. Investing in the body with the kick there. That right hand landed. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Kick. Lands another one of those beautiful leg kicks. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Lee. Ooh, head kick. Under three minutes here to go in round two. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Eats a jab there. Two minutes. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble. Oh, that's big. Combinations here. Lands the inside leg kick there. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. 
Ali gets caught by the straight punch. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Big ground and pound. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get enough pressure to finish the technique. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, he got to his spot. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the feet. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Low kick lands flush. Hands up, hands up. All right, round three coming up next. All right, sit down. Catch your breath. Slow it down. Get some water. Listen. Everything you're putting out there is working. I want you to stay. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risks. What a fantastic round. You ready? You ready? Go All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the score. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next one. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice lead hook by Lee. There's another one. That left hand's getting home. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Beautiful strike. He's sticking them over and over again. He's got his head popping back. Oh, big Superman punch there! Body kick lands. Goes to the body there. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. Single collar tie now. Beautiful shot to the head from the clinch here. Trying to hammer that lead leg. <laughs> Landed that left hook. Just over three minutes to go. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Head kick, that's a miss. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. That shot blocked by Lee.
He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks. Oh! He's got a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. He went high on that. Lead left by Lee. Oh, so another head kick lands now, at least partially. So several of those have found the target in this round. And now you can see the damage really starting to take effect on his opponent. Lee gets tattooed by a solid uppercut there. Can't take too many more of those. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. He is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's throwing kick after kick after kick. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this he, point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh, good knee. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, oh, oh. Round. How good was that? All right, buddy, take a seat. That was a good round, but I need you to be a little bit more accurate this time. I need you to land those kicks this round. Start mixing up your attacks. All right, let us get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. And how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight. But I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep throwing. You ready to fight? Ready. Four. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Nice crack there. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Just misses with that one. Well, the head kick has really been his primary weapon thus far. And again, he does it deceptively. He doesn't telegraph that weapon. You don't know if he's going low, hitting the body, or going up top. And that's why he's realized a lot of success here tonight. The numbers certainly tell the story. Nice jab. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Just misses with the straight right. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was the significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. 
Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. And rip the body there. Right hand. Timely defense there, huge block for him. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Under two minutes to go. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Just out of range with that strike. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice punch here. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer theoretically to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut and now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Lees has got full mount now. Great job landing from the top position. This is a terrible position. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Lee gets back up. Leg kick lands. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 15 seconds. There's that kick. Went for the inside leg kick. Right. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Look to the head there by Luke. Oh, nice body kick. Oh, and yet another one landed there by Lee. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, guys didn't jab enough. It was all power shots. Now you see guys well more educated with that jab in that front hand. How clean is that jab by Lee? Heavy kick downstairs. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. It sets up that leg kick beautifully. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Oh. 
hard shots landing on both sides here. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Oh, hook to the head by Lee. Another good stick to the head. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit taller. You're a baller, though. Three minutes now to go in this one. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? You got to go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You got to throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not going to win this fight. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Big right hand. Oh! Beautiful combination there by Lee. Let me see that hook now. Great job blocking that one. Two minutes now to go in this one. Good work, guys. Come on. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the US. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Might be a submission attempt here. Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, nice job there defensively to block that knee attempt. Good work by Lee. So we go under a minute to go in the fight. Big shot to the head. The high kick lands. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Collar tie here in the clinch. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Oh, lands a nice straight. Go after the cut. End this fight. End it. Waning seconds of this fight. Huh. All right, so they came in unquestionably the two best in the world in this division, and they showed you exactly why here tonight. A lot of people may think the challenger did enough for me, slightly into the champion to retain his title. I agree with you, John. I thought the champion did just enough to keep his belt. And this has nothing to do with you got to beat the champ to get the belt. No, the champion outworked him in the big spots, and he should retain his title. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts.